Hello everyone and welcome back to No Man's Land. We are at the shop because we need to lease a big machine. Now, I didn't want to show you something then, so I'm keeping it a little quiet. Oh, we can buy it! We're not going to buy it. We're not going to buy it. That's silly. Uh, right, we want GPS and new, yeah, and we're going to lease this guy for 25,500. Now, he creates square cotton bales, so we are going to need some kind of... Is it just these two? These are the only two? So that's one, and that's two. I think we can just we can get away with just doing it one at a time. So we're going to lease that as well. Now, our bank balance is enormous. That is because I have sold off all of the sections that we could get out. I've also sold all of the sections from in here. Oh, I did. There's more now. And I've been selling off the empty pallets and moving the planks and beams around. So all of that money has been legitimately created by us, which is absolutely astonishing. So we're not going to be using the JCB today because I said that before the end of the series, I wanted to get our very own brand new tractor. Now, I am not quite sure what to get. Um, I'm kind of tempted to just go silly and get the 9RX because we can afford it and I've never been able to afford it before. Um, ooh, I, I wanted a new one. Now, what haven't we had? We haven't actually had a Fent yet, have we? Have we had a Fent on the series? So that's a 900. What's this? This is also a 900. Uh, 305 horsepower, 396 for the 1,000 value. 517, I mean, it's just ridiculous. We're going to get this. We're going to get the 1,000. So we can spec this in any way we want. So I think we're going to go with wide tyres and weights. Why not? Condition is new, obviously. Engine, we can go, ooh, we can go for a 1050. And we're going to put GPS on, even though we may not need it. We've got money to throw around. So, oh baby, this is our first brand new tractor. Oh, this this is this is a beast. I can't believe we had almost a million before I spent all of this. That is absolutely astonishing. And this is going to look so silly. But, just look how cool that is. The thumbnail for today's episode is going to be this tractor with a cotton bell on the back. That's going to be it. Now, I think we're going to have to do the big field in the next episode. So I'm going to start, I think, with this one here. Um, why does my cotton seem to be going in a different direction to the way I planted it? I don't know, it is going that way. Good. Right, so let's grab this guy. Now, the reason I bought GPS is because it's just going to make things easier to line everyone up. There's going to be a lot of time lapsing in this episode. In fact, most of the episode will probably be time lapsing. Um, because we've just we've got four cotton fields together. Um, we've also got the thing, the bob signage, which I think is probably finished. So we'll just just hop out and check on that. I think he's done. Maybe he is. He is done. So we can open that silo. So we might do a bit of selling of that as well, just to do something different. We can do variable capacity. Okay, but we're already at 20,000 as standard, so there's no, no point in that. So, unfold this baby. Okay, turn on GPS as well. And get myself set up. I think if we start around. Whoa, don't crush crops, don't crush crops. Anyway, we start here. So what is our course right now? I don't need that, I need this. 
I'm a bit out of practice. I haven't recorded for, a, I think, a week and a half. Uh, so, 90. Right. Auto width. No offset. Perfect. Set A and a heading of 90 degrees. And we can now turn that on. That's it, we are now collecting cotton from our field, first field. This is just, I'm, I'm amazed with how well we've done. The fact that we've managed to get to the point where leasing a cotton harvester is not something I have to worry about cost. Previously, I've been you know, panicking when something is gonna cost us more than a few hundred pound. Oh, I missed some weeds. And here we are, just going, yeah, so what? It's amazing. And I think I'm going to have to actually go down here and take some headlands off, because otherwise I'm going to crash. So we'll, um, we'll do that quickly. Here, oh yeah, he's a very tight turning circle. I like that. Now, can I do this from in camp? That's the question. Not is it possible, but can I? Uh, so I need to line up that there. Yes, I can. Just about. I'm not very good, but I can do it. So we'll just, I think two headlands is probably enough. This has got such a tight turning circle. I have a feeling two would be good enough. I just hope, you know, it seems that we're not going to catch everything. That's a little bit annoying. And we're filling up at a decent rate. I wasn't expecting us to you know, make hundreds of bales. But at this rate, I think we'll get one and a half bales from this field. Which isn't a big deal because we are going to be keeping this harvester. It's going to cost us money because we're going to be keeping him overnight. But yeah, we're going to be using him for all four fields. Um, now, in terms of what else we've got left to sell, there are still pallets being created. There's still beams that I haven't put in. Um, I'm trying to be a little clever with how I use the beams. Basically, I need four times as many. It's 4,000 litres of. Um, oops. 4,000 litres of. Uh, planks and 1,000 litres of beams will create the. Um, a pallet for me. Off. A pallet of pallets. So, I need to make sure basically that I've got four times more of the. four times more of the uh, pallets than I do everything else. Uh, the, the planks even. So, I'm, I'm just trying to balance all of the numbers, and I really am rambling. I really am on it. So let's just let's get to the top and then I can stop rambling and I can start actually doing this as a time lapse. Collecting cotton so that we can make ourselves some money. And I think we might sell No, we'll sell the cotton one by one because we can only fit one on the trailer. I was gonna say we'll sell them um, all at the end. I suppose we could, I could just push them all in but I think it makes more sense to sell them uh, as they go. We're almost back at the top, so this will just give us enough room to be able to work. So in a second, we'll be back on the GPS. I may do, I may skip rows. I think it's probably gonna be a good idea to do that. Um, yeah. So 
I need to get to this one here, I believe. Yes, this one here. It's just that I'm not lined up very well. There we go. So off we go, and here goes the time lapse. Drown yourself in the neon. You came to this place to hide away in the dark. You tell yourself you need to move on. But when not in the shadows, can ease your broken heart. They turn my volume up. You shut your mind. Wanna escape your thoughts for a little more. But when you close your eyes, I'm by your side. I'm by your side, right? You'll find me there, dancing in the crowd. You tell yourself that it's over. But you see my face on all the strangers' door. So are you sure that? There is still a little bit left to do in this field, <coughs> but we have almost created our first bale. So I don't. Th I think we're going to fill up before we get to the end. But I'm going to go and dump the bale off the field. I think it just seems to be a more logical thing to do. There we go. So just lift that up, switch him off, and let's go over here. I do not remember how to empty. Oh, easy. Easy to empty. Okay. So I think we'll just drop him by here. Here is our first cotton bale. This is cool. Very, very nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly finish the bit of the field that's left and then I think we'll do a bit of silage selling and we'll see how much time is left in the episode. Okay, we're filled up with the first 45,000 litres. We'll take this over and drop it off, bring them back, fill them up. And then we've got that field over there to do, that's the next one. I want to get two fields done today, so it does mean a lot of time lapsing, but really, today and 
uh, the next episode are going to be a lot of time -lapse. It's just the way it works, unfortunately. But uh, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to get that sweet, sweet cotton money. Now, one thing I do need to do here is turn on the conveyor. So, start pumping this out of the back. Now, I have had to turn the time down as well, because you will have noticed that uh, time got away from me a little. It was actually because I wasn't paying attention to the screen at all. So, it just carried on ticking by it five times. And I could change the time back, but I think it's fine. We'll do a bit of dusk work. We don't often work in the dusk, so I think we, we should. It's good. Right. So we'll take him back. I have to reverse him under again. That's the, the only issue here. Is this guy does not fit. <coughs> we should have gone with some bigger conveyors. The, the standard in-game conveyors are nice and tall, and you can make them even taller. This one, don't get much option. Oops. And I pressed the wrong thing. So, let's now get here. There we go. Oh, as if by magic. And, let's put on this. Oh no! What do you mean, create a load of track? I have a track, thank you. That's the track. But, what I need to do is just shift it. Ah, oh, wrong way. There we go. So, we'll turn him on. And I think this time we go with this view. So away we go.
go. We got 71%, so we didn't get as much out of the field this time. That was only 12,000. Around 12, yeah, around 12,000 litres in that field, but it was much smaller, so I'm not surprised. Now, we've got another load here ready to go, so we're going to take that over and get it dumped. I think I will probably take another two over off camera as well because I don't want this silage to last forever. This was just the bonus silage we got from having um, straw turned into. I used a straw chopper to turn it into um, chaff, which I think is a brilliant idea. I'm not sure how realistic it is. But then again, I've never made silage. Compost, yes. I make compost, but I've never made silage, so I don't really know what is realistic and not. I can't really judge on that, to be honest. I'll get this all tipped like last time. I'm trying my best not to also go on the crop because I think we're not going to have enough time left to uh, put another crop in, but we probably have enough time to actually cultivate the fields and get them back to an original state. I'm thinking of possibly putting them all back to grass before we finish the series. I think that might be a good idea. But I'm not yet sure. I haven't decided. That field is going to be a monster. We may even have to get a worker doing it so that we can get on with other stuff. But I don't know. It just it depends. I really don't want to have two episodes which are almost all time lapse of um, cotton harvesting. That's a bit tricky. Right, now into our beautiful new tractor. I should have put this in a fancy colour scheme as well, I suppose. I think it has some cool colour schemes. So, how to operate. I have to put it into operating position. There we go, operating position. And now we just drive it back. Awesome. Putting it back down. Now I need to save the game here so that I can come back and take a thumbnail. And also, I need to turn off my autosave, wherever it is. Where is my autosave? I can't find it. There it is. Off. Good. Right, save. Where should we take cotton? Agra's Land Trade. 1384 per litres. Per litre? Yeah, I said per litres, like an idiot. So, Agra's Land Trade. Let's get over there and put the lights on. I'll put the beacons on as well. Look at those flashy beacons. I wish we could have had this tractor from the very start. And we've still got so much money. And we're about to add more. Plus we've got more pallets remaining. Uh, what else have we got? Milk, manure, slurry. We've got digestate I can sell as well. They will actually buy digestate. It doesn't pay you much. But... We can sell digestate at the uh, here at the Agra's land trade. So gotta get ourselves in carefully because this is quite a wide trailer. And I believe it should just be able to do that. It gets thrown off the back, and let's see how much money we get. Twenty-seven thousand six hundred and eighty-three. So that has paid for the leasing, I believe. A quick look. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Vehicle leasing costs thirty-seven three eighty. No, so it hasn't actually paid for our leasing cost yet. But we we also still have another bail, so it's not a big deal. Uh, okay, so I think we're pretty much done for the episode now. Um, there is nothing else to do today. Obviously, we've got more corn, corn, cotton harvesting to do. Off camera, I think I will do a little bit of cultivating. Maybe. I'm not sure. No, I won't. I won't. Because I've got plenty of other stuff to be doing with the pallets at the moment. 
and of course we've also got the silage which I'm gonna keep selling a bit through the night and we'll see in the morning how much we get um, but for now for now ladies and gentlemen that is us done just park this guy up in the most random way possible turn those off so from here at no man's land thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon bye bye